Good day, familia. I can hardly believe it's the last day of the CCDA Collective, can you? You know, earlier this year, we were still not clear what would happen come this fall when we were supposed to be gathering in person. We couldn't really imagine what it would look like to not be together. Um, it just, it personally did not fit in my brain. You see, those of us who have been around for, for some time, any amount of time, even just once, we know this. Um, for those of you who are new, CCDA is a really special place. It's a highly relational, national community. And it's hard to imagine that we can be so connected and so closely knit to one another when we are spread all over the U.S. and beyond the U.S., but it is the reality of the CCDA familia. So way back in the early part of the year, we just could not imagine. And it really seems like forever ago because 2020 has just gone on and on and on and has really been something. Um, we just weren't sure if virtual would work for us um, because we had never been this way before. And here we are gathering via the interwebs, seeing one another's faces up close and at a distance simultaneously. And you know what I learned? It still feels close. It still feels like I was able to sense the warmth, the depth, the passion, the concern, still feel the grief, the tiredness in my family members, even though I'm here and you are there wherever you may be. There is something really unique and precious about CCDA people. We really just get one another. So that's why learning together and learning from one another um, and worshiping together is so special because in a lot of ways, we are approaching God's throne similarly. And that doesn't happen everywhere and it doesn't happen all the time. We approach God, God's throne with kindred hearts, with hearts that love our creator, with hearts that break over the absence of shalom, over injustice, over oppression, um, over the suffering of entire people groups and entire neighborhoods and communities. Uh, we are just as people um, whose hearts are inflamed over, over this injustice. Um, not everybody gets us, right? Not everybody gets this level of passion. Not everybody gets this way of following Jesus, but that is who we are. Um, so we approach God's throne with hearts that are weary from loving and caring so much and working so hard. And like I said, we just don't find that anywhere. I know personally I do not. So this is a refreshing and nourishing place for me. Um, these are the things that bind us to one another. Here, we don't have to explain ourselves to anyone. We just know. So we can skip the proverbial lobby and approach a throne room with masks fully off. And the person to our right and to our left will know where the tears are coming from, where the joy is emanating from, because we just get it. We just get one another. And like I said, it is special and it is precious. And so I'm so grateful to be able to, sp to share this space virtually with you this year. And I didn't think that I would be able to do that and say this, but it is true. So I wish I could ask each one of you how this has been for you. Um, the CCDA staff and the board, we would love to know. So please send us an email. Um, but since you're listening to me right now, can I just ask, was I the only one weeping during the worship breaks? Was I the only one? Because I was. Uh, was anyone else laughing and crying at the same time when you heard from Pastor Jay, uh, Dominique, Pastora Sandra, Dr. Joyce, our sisters Marie, Michelle, Lisa? Uh, how about that prophetic energy of Pastor Q? I was so blessed by that. I could go on and on and I would not get all the names, but Everybody has been just fantastic. I have learned so much and been so energized by the last couple of days. Were you as impressed as I was and thankful for the breadth of experience and ex expertise shared during the critical conversations? Um, the passion and just the depth of the people. You know that this kind of experience, this kind of knowledge, this kind of um, wisdom comes from a place of uh, forged lived experience. You know, it's not something that somebody just 
read in a book. You know that uh, these folks are living life in the way that they're talking about it. And that's why um, the learning is so rich here, um, because these are folks who, um, although they may be academic, some of them, they may be um, in varying roles, uh, but they are all in one way or another practicing and walking out this life of following Jesus in this way, um, according to CCD, CCDA principles. Um, and I hope that if you are new, you have been able to tap in and learn about our core principles um, and then learn from others about how they are living that out and walking that out on a daily basis. Um, oh my gosh, and one other thing, was anyone else like running around in circles and jumping up and down <laughs> during her Sister Enid's very anointed message. I just could not help myself. It was just like this this joy and this, man, I was in church. I was in church. Were you seriously, can it get any better? <laughs> um, well, the final day is just starting and we have a lot more delicious treats. Okay, so some of them may be a little hard to swallow, but I promise that in the end you will say, I have seen and I have tasted and the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Uh, so today we're going to engage around mental health, the market square, civic engagement, and go a little further with that challenge that Pastor Jay gave us about the responsibility of stewarding our vote. We're going to talk about that. And we have yet to connect with other people in affinity groups and also to hear from our brothers, Ephraim Smith and Reverend Otis Moss III. So I'm really excited about that. I'm so looking forward to this final day of the CCDA Collective and sharing it with you. My prayer for you today is that God will connect some more dots for you, that your hearts will be full, further nourished, that your minds will be further equipped, that your cups will be filled for the exodus of the Valley of Dry Bones. Because as Sister Enid reminded us, our neighborhoods need these bone thugs to stir some things up for the greater good of all of God's people in all of God's creation. And that is you and that is me. So Lord, continue to probe my sisters and my brothers, continue to mend brokenness, continue to grant release and draw tears, continue to forge and to mold this people of yours because you are a strong and protective mother and a good and a nurturing father. You love us and you raise us right to be your presence in this world that you created because of love. I pray this for myself and for my siblings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Enjoy.